This is Japanese knotweed. One of the easiest ways to identify it is by the large shield shaped leaves, sometimes referred to as being heart shaped. Also people in the industry refer to uh, the leaves being of knotweed green colour. Um, they're rather large, they're rather fleshy. The stems are uh, hollow, not unlike bamboo, uh, with red blotches on them. The leaves are arranged in what's referred to as an alternate pattern, as can be seen here by growing on alternate or opposite sides of the stem. We're quite early on in the growing season, so this plant is smaller than it would be. Japanese knotweed can grow to two to three meters in height, as can be seen by this. Because this is growing in quite a shady situation, the leaves tend to be quite large, quite typical in appearance. However, um, last year's growth remains and can often be found uh, as what's referred to as dead canes. This showing the seed bodies from last year. Japanese knotweed, when it was first introduced into the country in around 1850, uh, was only introduced as female plants. So whilst the plant does produce seeds with no males there to fertilize it, all the seeds are inviolable and don't germinate. Here we have Japanese knotweed in its winter form. The green vegetation has died back and what is left is some wooden canes. They are hollow in the middle, um, they snap very easily and they have characteristic spider-like tops with a brown coloured appearance. 